spend your way into prosperity. Okay. No, you can't spend your way into prosperity. As the founders well knew, the cry of altruism is one of the grand justifiers collectivists and totalitarians have used for millennia. So how could a third party improve these conditions? The first step is for a third party candidate to gain entrance into the national presidential TV debates. This means such candidate must get at least 15% in the polls. Accomplishing this will give the third party the ability to address 70 million voters where the obtuseness and corruption of the Democrats and Republicans can be challenged. We have a strange situation because we have a process in Washington where after you've served for a while, you cash in, become a foreign lobbyist, make $30,000 a month, then take a leave, work on presidential campaigns, make sure you've got good contacts, and then go back out. We don't want a system of uh, essentially monopoly or oligopoly control for political parties. We want a system of free and open competition. But in the political realm, it's quite easy to exclude competition because you're dealing with the governmental process to begin with. So here they've done it. They go and they create this mechanism of uh, presidential debates to keep the people from hearing alternative positions. The Commission on Presidential Debates is the sponsor of this event and the three other presidential and vice presidential debates coming in October. The Commission on Presidential Debates is about as phony as you can imagine. It is completely dominated by the two major political parties. As we welcome Senators Obama and McCain. The fraud is that few represent a point of view or a constituency or a support outside of the major political parties. You do not get to be entered into the debates. The Presidential Debate Commission is a uh, condominium between the two parties to make sure the presidency is handed back and forth between them and nobody else gets in on the game. It's like a conspiracy between Pepsi and Coke to make sure 7-Up is not sold. And that's exactly what it is, a political conspiracy of the two parties. Perot broke it when he was enormously high in the polls. You couldn't keep him out of the debates. Uh, but now what they've got is a situation where it's a catch-22. You have to have 15% to get into the debates, but if you don't get into the debates, 